Davids on the track. Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Ryan from Team Cycle, and today we're gonna be doing a review on the new Reeve D Springs. So sit back, relax, and uh, let's get right into it. Thank you. What is that? That. Daddy's making a video. How you you high? You gonna help me make a video? Yeah. Yeah. This is. So as you can see, I got the uh, Yokomo Springs, which I used to run. The Reeve D Springs, the one that came out maybe like a couple months ago. These are for the, I guess, uh, asphalt or um, carpet. And then these are the new ones that just came out this past month. These are the ones for P-Tile and polished concrete. So currently in my setup, I have the front springs that came with the first set. I have those running. And then I'm, right now, I think I'm running the yellows. The yellows inside here so when they come they come in these containers and they come with these instructions i have these ones are for this one this set i guess i might have thrown away the one for for this one but it's pretty much self-explanatory so as you can see there's um the weight of the rear of your chassis so it goes all the way to 900 some of us are running a little bit over nine some of our us are running like a uh, like one grand in the back and then it also has depending on your shock position so inner middle or outer so, so that means inner outer i don't know if you can see it I'm trying to get my gimbal in there or maybe this side you can see it see how like there's the holes on the top and then also it's correlating with if you're running the lower control arms so let's see if i have them so these holes that's on the, supposed to be on the lower and then the holes that are on the top so i guess depending on how you have it positioned so if it's on the outer on the inner or in the middle or in the inner um you can also go with that and that should give you your spring rate so as you can see here this is the um hard concrete spring so it's a it's maybe like a millimeter shorter than the yokomo spring this is the yokomo rear spring so these are all rear springs by the way so this is a yokomo rear spring and it's a hair shorter than the two-stage spring that Reeve D just came out with. Um, so height, and then that's that's where the cups come in handy, especially for these springs. Not so much for these ones because they're about the same, but you could use them depending on your application, I guess, for uh, spring preload and tension because these springs are somewhat a little bit soft. The red one is pretty firm, so it makes the, bounce, the back bounce a lot, which uh, you really don't want, but... Um, so as you can see, I'm running the Reeve D front springs. So the coil is sitting on the bottom. Um, it's because we run up on polished concrete at Aina Coil. But I mean, it's very, very smooth, subtle. I'm also running the um, plus four cups. I don't know if you can see that. Because without it, these springs are actually quite a lot shorter than the Yokomo spring. So I had to put like the loads of preload. But with these plus four cups, I'm able to um, like not put so much preload on it and it actually looks you know looks a lot better and here on the back i have the yellows according to the paper that it comes with i'm supposed to be running the reds which is the um the hard springs but the yellow ones just feel so much better especially because i'm running a uh, rear active toe setup this is uh macgyvered it's using existing parts from the original um, rear active toe kit but then because i have the rr conversion i'm unable to locate or um put the the toe bars or the toe rods um across over here so we ended up low relocating it to the front shout out to my teammate raymond who showed me how to do it and how to get it running properly it could be a little bit better but i mean it's functional you know but yeah but anyway back to the spring so i'm running the yellows and the coil is also on the bottom i had them running on the top because you can run them both ways just like the front springs 
you can run it both ways. One way is supposed to be run for hard concrete, and then you flip them around, which is in the way where the coil is right now. You run this for like polished and P-tile. So right now I'm running it like that. Coil is on the bottom and the preload, everything. These are, I'm running the zeros in the back. Um, mostly because my my rear is, is pretty soft. Could be a little bit softer, so I probably could go with the blacks, but um, I'm gonna have to just try, you know, test and tune, that's all we can do. So the springs are a lot softer, which causes the car to grip up more, making it more stable, more planted, and also able to grip up in the turns a lot more, especially on the straightaways as well, coming out of the turn and into the straightaway able to grip up really good really nicely and get back on top of the lead car but um but yeah but yeah sorry i won't won't be able to get any clips or any shots of how my car actually drives i'm actually be going to the hospital tomorrow and uh, my wife's about to give birth to our daughter so yeah exciting stuff but um i'm gonna be on lockdown for quite a bit because of this covid19 and that and my wife is gonna need all the help she can um especially after everything happens tomorrow but um we'll update you with some new content definitely i got some stuff that i gotta edit for roy and um excited to do some maybe some new videos on my car but yeah like i said if you guys are interested in having me do like a build breakdown or something about my chassis or maybe um i'm planning on doing one for the conversion kit that um supposed to be roy's supposed to be dropping off to me in a, uh later on today but uh, I can do something like that. So if yeah, if you guys are interested in anything like that, make sure you uh, leave it down in the comments down below, you know? Um, I greatly appreciate it. And also any feedback on how I can improve, especially on these reviews, because it's the first time I've ever done anything like it. So, but yeah, appreciate you guys. Uh, hope you guys are all staying safe. <laughs> That's my son. <laughs> hope you guys are all staying safe right now, uh, COVID-19. Uh, hopefully this all, one day it'll all blow over. We'll be able to see you guys. Um, up there. I don't know if we're still gonna do the trip in October, but uh, I guess only time will tell. But yeah, sorry for the lack of content. I've been slacking. <laughs> I've been slacking quite a lot, but we will have uh, videos coming out, especially for the new Reeve D front. I'm gonna try to do a um, on the conversion. I'm gonna try to do a time lapse or some, maybe something about that. Maybe you guys are interested in something like that. So yeah, just uh, thank you for everybody for supporting us. Make sure you go grab some stickers and merch from uh, my boy Raymond. Uh, leave his link down in the description down below. Uh, go pick up some of our Team Cycle stickers. Um, you guys stay safe. Remember, like, comment, subscribe. And uh, see you guys in the next one. Shoots. Say please subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs>